Love is not something that's discussed too much in the study of Islam, and I thought it would be interesting to do a little study of it. So I went through and counted the number of times that love occurs in the Quran, and it occurs 47 times. And there's two usages, positive use and negative. Negative would be like, don't love money. So I thought I'd go through with you here and read some of the concepts of love that are found in the Quran. The negative use are things like this. His love of wealth is passionate. Men love the present life. You do not love good advice. O oh, believers, do not make friends of your fathers or your brothers if they love unbelief above Islam. In other words, you're not to love your family. Instead, you're to love those who are brothers in Islam. If your blood brothers are not part of Islam, then you're not to love them. Allah does not love the kafir. Allah does not love those who exceed limits. Allah does not love the arrogant or the boastful. You are commanded to fight even though you dislike it. You may hate something that is good for you and love something that is bad for you. Obey Allah and His Messenger. Allah does not love those who reject the faith. So that's negative love is the majority of the usage. Now there's positive love, and here we have an example of how Allah loves Muslims. Allah shows His love to those who believe and who do good deeds. I cast down my love above you so you might be raised under my eye. Allah will raise up a people whom He will love and who will be loved by Him. So then there's the usage of the term, others love Allah. Those who believe have a stronger love for Allah. He joined your hearts together in love so that through His grace you became like brothers. Love amongst men, five usages. He placed love and compassion in your hearts. For this I ask no wage of you save for the love of my kin, other Muslims. You will not be truly righteous until you have given what you truly love to charity. Good advice. He gives his wealth for the love of Allah to his family, to orphans, to the needy, and to the wayfaring traveler, to the beggar and the ransom of slaves. Now this use of the term does not include the love of the kafir. As a matter of fact, the love of the kafir is mentioned in terms of friendship, and that is this. There are 12 verses in the Quran which say that a Muslim is not truly be the friend of the kafir, the non-Muslim. Now, he can be friendly, but he can't really love him. He can't be a real friend. Other Muslims and Islam always have to come before the kafir. To me, this is one of the saddest things about Islamic doctrine, is that a Muslim is restricted into whom his affection should rest upon, and it should only be for his own brothers and sisters within Islam, not those outside. Thank you.